uh, all my meat at my shop mm -hmm. come from the slaughterhouse. And are satisfied. And they're satisfied and there's a rubber stamp and there's a, this sheet that the doctor writes down to, mm -hmm. to assert that this, butcher, this meat mm -hmm. is coming from the slaughterhouse. Mm -hmm. Not everybody mm -hmm. has got that uh, chance of getting something at the end of the day. Yeah. So by giving back, or you see me giving these people yama, like I introduced a uh, Good Friday. Yeah. Hello everybody, welcome to another exciting episode of the GCT with IFA Sogan. Thank you for tuning in and as always guys, we appreciate your viewership. Come away and begin half our welcome. Please subscribe to our channel. Half on the bigger story, we get to know more about each other. And today, wale wa nyama choma, ma nyama nyama, ma ugali, we got you covered. You are chilling with one and only Kevo Buchari. I know most of you na mjua. Kama mjui is the right time, we get to know more about him, all right? Let's do this, guys. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. Yes. Mm -hmm. Welcome. And may, maybe if you introduce yourself, Kowale Badawakuju. Okay. I go by the name Kevin Odiambodero of the famous Kevo Butchery. Up Kondele uh, next to Quick Mart Supermarket. Yes. Yeah, well, I love the way you say it, the famous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ground Meshika Vizu. Sana, sana, sana. Mm -hmm. right. Anyway, Kevo, when did you start your butcher work? Okay, before I owned my butchery, like Kevo Butchery, mm -hmm. I was first employed. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was working for someone. Uh, the, the butchery was called Most Most Butchery. Mm -hmm. Like I was the, the an employee, employee, yeah. employee. Yeah, you are an employee. Yeah, so I worked with him for like uh, four years. Mm -hmm. Then out of the savings that I got from the salary I was being paid, mm -hmm. I decided now to start my own. The year 2017. 2017. Yes. Mm -hmm. From since 2017, and uh, I get the name Kevo Butchery, mm -hmm. so derived from my name Kevin. Yeah, from your name. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. And how can you say how the work since you started your own? When I started, there was a lot of challenges because uh, now moving from my employer to my butchery now, mm -hmm. you see some of the customers that are maybe I intended to follow me yeah. remain with the other butchery. Now mm -hmm. I had to start from zero you are, you have to, to build start my own, own customers. People. Yes. Yeah. Now it was, uh, the sales wasn't good mm -hmm. because in the other shop that I was operating, I was helping in, we could sell at least 50 kgs. Mm -hmm. Now when I started my own shop, I was doing like 5, 10 kgs. And you're like, and like oh no. Oh, why? Should mm -hmm. I go back to my end? Or should I just stick to? Mm -hmm. Then out of perseverance, determination, mm -hmm. and a push from my close friends and family, mm -hmm. I, I, I stayed put. Mm -hmm. Yes, until and you now. Said, now I, I'm doing this. Yeah, I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where do you get your meat from? My meat uh, mostly, mm -hmm. I go to the markets, mm -hmm. and we you select the cattle that you want, mm -hmm. and you buy. So there are two scenarios. Mm -hmm. If I've got enough cash, I go to the markets mm -hmm. and buy my own cow and take to the slaughterhouse, and mm -hmm. they, they slaughter it. Sometimes also when the business is not good. Someone can slaughter for you his cow, mm -hmm. and then you purchase from him at mm -hmm. wholesale price. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the slaughterhouse. Yeah. yeah. So, ni wewe tu na unendo na jitafti. Yes, yes. Most of the things that happens at my shop, I do them myself. Mm -hmm. But I got a, a boy, who had, but mostly he is operating from the shop. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was a field, kutafuta nyama, kutafuta ngombe. These are my deliveries, I do them myself. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how will you be sure that Ingombe Uya Meliuzia Sieti Lupoinanga Kuamgonjwa or something? No, when you buy, uh, when you go to the market mm -hmm. to buy the cow, obviously a, a sick cow, you will just see it from the way it, it works. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, once you've taken your cow from the market to the slaughterhouse, mm -hmm. there are doctors, the veterinary doctors. Yeah. Once the, the cow has been slaughtered, mm -hmm. The, doc, the, doc, the, the doctors uh, have to supervise it. They know how they, they studied that. That's mm -hmm. their work. So when the cow maybe has got a, a disease or some, if it's not fit for human consumption, mm -hmm. they'll condemn it. Mm -hmm. Yes, when the cow is condemned, it's, it's thrown away. Mm -hmm. But when it's given a, a good sign that's good, 
you come with it to the to the butcher mm-hmm. yes unajua hapo nyuma hapo online tuliona kuna watu hapa kisumu ngombe zilali kana barabara watu wa butcher mwachi ngombe zilali yes i can't deny that uh, in, in every business or any sector the rogue 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 rog people yeah <coughs> yes there are people who they do what call cattle rustling or is mm-hmm. ngombe watu nachinja not in the slaughterhouse they uso kwa mstuo tu nini nini yeah but for myself i speak as kevo butchery yeah uh, all my meat at my shop mm-hmm. come from the slaughterhouse and are satisfied and they're satisfied and there's a rubber stamp and there's a this sheet that the doctor writes down to, mm-hmm. to assert that this butcher this meat mm-hmm. is coming from the slaughterhouse mm-hmm. yes umesikia hapa kwa kevo butchery si zile za kanda barabara no no no, no. Mm-hmm. We don't and do that. So at the butchery una uza tu ngombe peke yake or there's so many kind of No, we deal with the beef mm-hmm. and uh, mbuzi. Mm-hmm. So a cow has got different uh, products. Mm-hmm. Like hiyo uh, nyama ya ngombe. Yeah. Kuna matumbi natoka ndani ya ngombe, mm-hmm. kuna maini natoka ndani ya ngombe. Mm-hmm. Kuna ulimi. Kuna mtu anataka hiyo kichwa ya ngombe, kuna orenge. Yeah. yeah, so all those if any if any person wants you get them mm-hmm. yes and also mbuzi mm-hmm. kuna mbuzi nyama ya mbuzi matumbo ya mbuzi yeah. so i deal specifically in the two cow and mbuzi mm-hmm. yes and on a good day you can say you know the how many kgs mm, on a good day like uh, my target on a like i got my target i always have a target yeah like i always want to sell like 50 kg per day wow. that's my target mm-hmm. so if i get 50 I'm content with that. So if it goes past 50 like 50 plus 1. Mm-hmm. Then I say okay. Uh, thank God. Thanks be to God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anything less than 50 kg mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll frown. So <laughs> you say they, that's uh, no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And between hizo nyama zote the variety when you know the which one can you say is doing so well? Obviously meat uh, cow uh, mm-hmm. cow nyama ya ngombe. Yeah. Yeah that's uh, you know most people don't uh, prefer mbuzi ya mani mm-hmm. yes so oh, mbuzi is just to supplement but yeah. the main the main product in our shop is ngombe mm-hmm. yeah nyama ya ngombe yeah. yeah and kevo we've seen like you're one person na mengi sana online <laughs> yes, that one yes. you're doing so good up there mm-hmm. what can you say about it i want to admit that the online thing has really helped me and pushed my brand mm-hmm. and even pushed my sales mm-hmm. and uh, I've got so many people to thank because mm-hmm. if not for them maybe yeah. things could be the same. Could be there. Yeah, they've mm-hmm. really helped me. I started it alone like in my platform in my Facebook page. Mm-hmm. But they came along giving me advices mm-hmm. from coming to me. I don't know whether I can give a shout out to them or Yeah, sure, yeah. no problem. Uh, the likes of uh, Kelly Rogers. Mm-hmm. There's Okiki Odero, Esben Migot, mm-hmm. there's Evans Ngozi Nyusi. There are a lot Jack Zako Pondo mm-hmm. Jarundala there are there are so many people and even some of my friends always share my 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 butcher in their pages yeah freely without even paying them but wow i give uh, mm-hmm. i can say i appreciate i mm-hmm. appreciate their efforts yeah. yeah the online thing has really pushed my brand within Kisumu mm-hmm. even i get even clients outside, outside the country outside yeah the once they get my number they mm-hmm. get in touch with me and uh, they buy for their relatives back here in wow. Kenya yes mm-hmm. yeah and so, so the good. online thing is uh, i i admit, I admit mm-hmm. it has really played a major role mm-hmm. in my brand yeah yes and we've seen you help even so many people mm-hmm. you you know the kind heart you're giving out yeah why did you just choose that it's so rare in fact no mm-hmm. this comes way back from my parents mm-hmm. When I was still young I could see my dad my mom mm-hmm. people could come to our home people who are less privileged mm-hmm. and I saw them giving them that helping hand yeah you could find that even when my dad uh, bought something like let me say 2 kg of sugar mm-hmm. and it's there in the stock in our house and uh, so a neighbor comes like ana kitu ya kukula my mother could just even give her or him mm-hmm from his stock from her stock even yeah. one kg of sugar yeah. to go and use ni area cause like yeah so when i also started my own butchery mm-hmm. now 
the product that I have is that is the meat. That's mm -hmm. what I can give someone because I got to know any other thing. So when like, what can I give somebody? I can't give him or her money, mm -hmm. but I have got this food that I can spare, even a kg or even half kg, so that this person can at least get something to eat. Mm -hmm. So somehow it is uh, inborn, mm -hmm. right? Because of the way my parents used to, used to, do, to, it. to do it. Mm -hmm. Now maybe I also took that line. Yeah. But also it's good to give back to the community mm -hmm. because we have got different challenges and uh, not everybody mm -hmm. has got that uh, chance of getting something at the end of the day. Yeah. So by giving back, or you see me giving these people Nyama, like I introduced uh, Good Friday, yeah. whereby I, 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 I use a mechanism mm -hmm. to look at someone who is less privileged mm -hmm. and I choose to give one kg of beef every Friday. Wow. So apart from that also, if I just see anybody who I, I feel my heart, mm -hmm. my heart tells me that this one is genuine, is a genuine case, mm -hmm. I'll chip in. You just chip yeah, in. And uh, help him or her. Yes, not that because I have got a lot, mm -hmm. but just, you know, ring up I'm a, here. yeah, mm -hmm. you people mistake you like you, you want a pen and I'm a, I'm a person, I'm a man, you know, yeah. it's not a story of being rich or what, it's just being rich in the heart, let me yeah. say that, yeah. yeah, not in the pocket. Mm -hmm. uh, and we really appreciate you for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My God, may your pockets never run dry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've got a lot of positive comments from people, they appreciate it and they say, Good work. It's a good and work. And I also say thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, for someone who wants to start such a business, nakopale nyumbani haji anzi wapi, what can you say? Mwenye nataka kuanze biashara ya bucha. Yeah. Yeah, in fact I got a lot of DMs mm -hmm. in my messenger mm -hmm. of people asking, "Kevo, how do we start this business? What's the cost?" Yeah. Like they see it's something the way I do it maybe they think it's something easy. Mm, it's, it's, not, easy. it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of discipline, mm -hmm. honesty, and uh, determination mm -hmm. and perseverance because there are a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. But uh, the process of starting a butchery is not that difficult. Mm -hmm. Now, to counter that, challenge, mm -hmm. what I can say is that uh, when I go to the slaughterhouse or when I go to buy a item, sometimes I go live in my Facebook page so that the customer can see me physically in the slaughterhouse to win their confidence that this beef from Kebukuchan is coming from the slaughterhouse. Secondly is uh, this issue of uh, what were cancelled, the, the municipal council. Mm -hmm. You know there are licenses that you need to be having, like the trade license, health card, the banner you should be paying for the signage. Mm -hmm. Now sometimes umeanza shop, you don't have the money to pay for the license, you don't have money to pay for the signage. Mm -hmm. Now at least they should be coming and yeah. why don't you just give him some period of time or if they are less happy, they should charge that the license that you can pay for instead of the tall full year, even maybe like two months, three months, so that you, at least they don't always come and ask you when you're doing your business. Because finding that money to pay for the license, the whole year, is a lot of money. Yeah. So sometimes they can bring that mechanism of maintaining the license for two months, three months, a geisha or a renew. Yeah. So apart from that, Customer spear, as I say, man, I'm sure when I promote, but you know, customer is a customer. Customer, okay, customer. So you find some. And the customer is always right. Oh, now we 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 find a customer, we we tell you that you but yeah, they're quite convinced. So instead, they're going to go and be a two kevo. Now, if you are not going to be a man, you can't be a man. Yeah, now we're going to go and be a two kevo. Yeah. When you are going to other agenda, like you butcher kevo, you buy a man. No, no. But so those are challenges that Which we know, we have, and we know how we never get them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so far, so good. Yeah. yeah. And uh, maybe in the next, maybe one or two years, when a journey to our Yes, uh, in any business or job that you do, mm -hmm. most people you don't have a, a dream or an object, or you are, you see yourself like Kevo Butchery. My hope or my dream. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the next, maybe, if God willing, if the resources are there, 
I would want to expand it to also have a, an eatery. Mm -hmm. We have a butchery, but also an like eatery eater. next to it. Yeah. So you see now we are dealing just with takeaway. Mm -hmm. Someone buys and goes and cook in the house. Mm -hmm. Now we want here now, that person who does want to go and cook can buy and we cook yeah. just next to the shop. Mm -hmm. Maybe a cool apple. Ama mwenye naweza tu kuja apate ready made akule na ende. Mwenye machoma choma. Yes, mwenye machoma. Yes, something like that. Yeah, and also maybe if we can expand, I don't know this this at all task, but to even export. Anything can happen. Yes, we export even country wide. You can take our beef to Nairobi. Yeah. Yes. And the supply to those big people. Yes, yes, yes. Anything can happen. Yeah. Kila kitu tunachia mungu. So, the, oh, I was forgetting about one of the challenges is uh, rogue customers, like dealing with an institution. Maybe you've supplied your nyama to somewhere, mm -hmm. then they refuse to pay. Yeah. You see such. You so, have to turn so up for years. You, you've supplied like even like consistently, you mm have -hmm. nyama, you have nyama. So, 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 you have Stories, 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 stories. Story, story, story. story. Kujakesha. This, we don't have to drag anymore. Yeah, so that's also a challenge. Mm -hmm. So we'll just say to my customers, personally, my customers when I come to walk in, I'm going to deliver to you. They've been so good, mm -hmm. and I appreciate them. I appreciate them so much. Only that one or two, maybe. Lo na isa kumes. Na u na walo madeni, walo ni me kununua sana leo na insina intali pakeisho. Yes, we do that, but as I say. That also becomes a challenge because this person has been buying from you like even for two years yeah. consistently. Now he comes to you and says, Kevo leo nenda kula, nenda natamani nyama, sinata esa, nita kulipa kesho. Now that's where the problem starts. Yeah. Yo kesha ifiki, mm -hmm. and amepotea. Amenda ivo. Amenda ivo. So, what will you do? Because I can't say that, uh, I, won't, I, I can't deny that with every business, there must be debt. Mm -hmm. And you won't say that, nimejaribu by the way kusema, kuambia kijanangu wa shop. Muta kikuja hapa, usimpenya madeni. But you just find yourself still giving deni. Because, like, your customer mekuja mekulilia natakanya madeni. What will you do? Because maybe the person who did that, who didn't pay, is trying to mess you with the other ones. But now we say, let me try again. So that those who pay and those who, who just forgot to pay. And for someone who is watching, nabado hajui maliata patanyama, how can they put their delivery? Yes, I've got a Facebook page, my 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 own Kevo Odero, Kevin Odero, mm -hmm. and I also introduced a page for my shop Kevi Kevi Kevo Butcher Investment. Mm -hmm. I was to change it to Kevo Butcher alone, but I've got a challenge. So it's still Kevo Butcher Investment. Yeah. So they can follow the page, mm -hmm. like it, make the orders through there, or they can call uh, they have a number that they can call or WhatsApp. Uh, I can give them the number. If yeah, you can. yeah, just yeah. give out. Zero seven two five three five seven six eight two. So they call for the, for the walk-ins. You know, I've got two categories of my customers. Yeah, there are those who walk in, mm -hmm. order their beef or matumbo or maini. We serve them and they go. Yeah, there are those who I've never even seen them. Mm -hmm. They just call Kevin Atakanyama Kilumbili. Mm -hmm. They live up place flani flani, mm -hmm. and we do that. We deliver. They pay. We come back. Yeah. So for those who call, that's my number. You can follow our page, Kevo Butcher Investment, or my personal page at Kevo Kevin Odero. Mm -hmm. Yes. And everything with Aqua delivered. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Maybe your last word to your loyal customers, okay. your followers. Yeah. My last word to my customers and to the whole world because now I'm international. Mm -hmm. yes. I told you. <laughs> I get even calls from outside the country. Yeah. I appreciate all my customers. Uh, they've been my biggest support system in terms of buying from us. And whatever they buy from us is good, and they can accept to that. I just urge them to come to Kevo Butchery. As you can see, uh, my best meet in town. You can call, make your orders, and we deliver. And uh, I give a shout out to all those who also help me market my shop. Kelly Ken, Rogers, as I said earlier, Esbon Migot, Zako Pondo, Yarunda, and so much of them. There are a lot, there are a lot. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Okay, guys, that was it right here on the Gift City.
Pedi ni shawa pia kibu butchery is the place to be for all the legit meat and yunataka. Kamu nataka kitu legit and you know, visit kibu butchery, he'll sort you out. And if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to Viron's TV, please guys subscribe to Viron's TV. We hit 2.0, ni 2K at 2.0, 2K subscribers. Alright, goodbye.